When something scares you, face it head on and you'll find out who you truly are as a person. So this was me, window cleaner. I was, as a kid, guys, I was petrified, scared to death of heights. Like, my dad had me go up in the garage with him one time, and I get to the top of the six-foot ladder, and he's like, just get on the top step and pull yourself up. And I said, Dad, I am so scared right now. So it was a really a small miracle that I ended up hanging on the side of buildings washing windows. But what I've learned is everything we go through in life can prepare you for what you're going to do next. What did this do as far as real estate? Well, I was afraid of heights. What was my other biggest fear? Public speaking. So when Sean Sturrock reached out to me, you know what I didn't do? I didn't run the other way. I said, absolutely, I'd be happy to share. So when something scares you, be willing to face it head on. It's not that you, like for instance, I never overcame my fear of heights. I'm still afraid of heights, but I faced it. And so when something scares you, face it head on and you'll find out who you truly are as a person. I got licensed back in 16, joined EXP in November of 17. Now, when I was leaving, my broker literally looked at me. He says, oh, my word, Sean, you need to stop for a moment. You need to think about what you're doing. He's like, I'm scared to death for you right now. This is going to ruin you. But what did I already learn? I learned that I'm not going to let something that scares me stop me. So I was like, I gave him a hug. I told him I loved him. I said, I have to do this for my family because my family comes first. This has nothing to do with you and that you were horrible or anything like that. I have to do this for my family. What I challenge you today is believe in yourself. You're not going to achieve it unless you believe it. And if you don't feel like you're quite ready to do whatever it is you want to do, surround yourself with people that believe in you. You've brought someone into EXP Realty and they haven't achieved what they need to do. Be that person for them. Be the person pumping them up, believing in them, speaking positive into them. Guys, when someone keeps believing in you and you finally start to believe in yourself and you finally start to achieve what you want to achieve, you start... You're, you're accomplishing your vision like Gene was talking about. So one thing in that 101 ways to lead generate that Gene, he has a video if you don't want to buy the book. I just recommend the book simply because you can hand it out to new agents. But basically he talks about go and get some coffee. Plop down $50, $100, whatever your budget looks like. It doesn't have to be a lot. I went to a local coffee shop. It was a buy one, get one free Wednesday. And so I asked him, I said, hey, could you give my card to everybody that gets a free coffee? I want to buy $50 worth of coffee, and I'm going to sit over here. And on the back of my laptop, I had EXP Realty. And so they would always tell me, how yeah, the guy's actually right over here. And so they would come over, and they'd talk to me. They'd shake my hand. Thanks so much for the free coffee. But one person didn't quite make it, and he, he messaged me, because I did a Facebook Live, by the way. I was like, hey, Facebook, it's Sean Richardson here, EXP Realty. Today I'm here at Big B Coffee. We're going to go in. I'm buying coffee for the next $50, so I hope to see you here. And one of the guys commented, and he said, Sean, I must have missed you, because uh, they, they, they must have already went through the $50. I said, well, let me meet you and buy you a coffee. Well, he goes, better yet, how about could you use some warm referrals? I said, oh, Absolutely. So he's like, all right, come and join or come and visit us. We have a referral group. So I went to this referral group. It was called BNI. So BNI has been a game changer for me. Last year alone, I made over $30,000 just being a part of BNI. Here's the beautiful thing about BNI. It's all about giver's gain. You, you go to a group like that to give. You don't go to get. And so when you go there, you're trying to get everybody else business. And by doing that, they then get you business. Because it's kind of like everyone's scratching each other's back. Everyone's backs are getting scratched, right? But you don't go there to get, you go there to give. And also when you're in a group like BNI, it's all about visibility. It's about credibility and profitability. They call it VCP. You're not going to become profitable without the first two. So as a new agent, I'm speaking to your newer agents. If you're not visible, get visible. Start doing some Facebook Lives. Start doing something where people know you're a real estate agent. If they looked you up on social media, would there be evidence that you're selling real estate, right? And so once you build your visibility, then you got to build your credibility. How do you build your credibility? Well, I have some other ways I'm going to talk about how to do that. But when you're in a group like BNI, how do you do that? Every week I get a 60-second ask, and I get to tell them what would be a good referral for me this week. And so I'm building my credibility. We have one-to-ones where you meet for coffee or lunch, and you get to know each other. You're building your credibility because they're getting to know you. And when, when you build both of those, then you become profitable. How does one get started in real estate? I like to compare it to a plane. That plane sitting on the ground, it takes the most energy from it sitting there to fly. It's just like real estate. You're a plane, you're sitting there, and you haven't sold a house. 
but you want to be doing this. You want to be hitting an icon, right? So what does it take? How does one get started in real estate? What I would encourage you to do, let's say you go to your local BNI group and they're like, the spot's already filled. Instead of just getting frustrated and go, oh, I can't do this, this, this stinks. Start calling local real estate related businesses. Look at your house. What in that house, what business could you meet with? Maybe a roofing company, maybe a siding company, drywaller, painter, window company, flooring company, bathroom and kitchen remodel company, concrete company, debt company. The list goes on and on and on. I mean, oh my goodness. So basically, have coffee with them. When you're buying them coffee, let them know you want to get them business. You're a local EXP agent and you're excited to get them business. And so that's what your focus is going to be on. It's not going to be on you. You're going to give. And so when you meet with them, ask them some things they offer. Okay, obviously you're a painter. What do you paint? Put those things in your phone. Okay, so they paint inside and outside. Oh, they also paint kitchen cabinets. Okay, what about decks? Do you seal decks? Do you paint decks? Put these words in your phone and tell them, when I have a client that looks to have these things done, I'm going to be searching on my phone and by having these keywords in my phone, I'm going to be able to get you business. That person, if you think about it, is going to become your best referral partner because what do people do when they sell their homes? They usually get their house ready, right? One of those things is painting. One of those things could be cleaning, so meet with a local cleaner. The list can go on and on, so start meeting with all these local business owners, get to know them, make it about helping them, pouring into them. You want to get them business. Don't mention you but they're going to naturally want to help you. You're going to become their realtor. I'll guarantee you no other realtors in the area are doing that. Nobody else is offering to get them business because people are selfish. People are selfish by nature. And so one of the things you can do when you're having that coffee with them, hey, let's do a video. I really just want to plug you. I want to spotlight your business. And so you start out the video, hey, guys, it's Sean Richardson, EXP Realty. Today I'm here with, and then you videotape him or her and you find out what they offer. What are some things that people don't know about your business that they should know? A new agent, this was what got me launched. I did giveaways. As I did these videos, we would attach it to social media, and we'd say, hey guys, you got a heart, you got to share it, and you need to comment. So I would do Ohio State giveaways, right? And these local businesses ate it up. And they'd say, what do you want for this? I said, I just want the ability to do the video with you. And so we would do giveaway after giveaway after giveaway, some of the things I've given away are sports jerseys. We would do several giveaways and get the funds put together to do a big ticket to like a game. And so we'd have a grand prize winner. Um, I'm telling you guys, the more you give stuff away, it put me in the spotlight so people knew I was a real estate agent. So what I encourage you to do when you're giving away these prizes, if you're going to that local mom and pop place that sells some home related prizes that you could buy, let them know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm a local real estate agent. I'm doing a giveaway with this local company. We want to give something away. And so that's why we're here. Social media is about becoming visible, but they may not call you. So if, if you do a couple of videos and no one calls you, don't get frustrated. Just put value out there. Build relationships. Guys, real estate is all about relationships. What else can you do to get started as a new agent? How about find an agent that's crushing it, that wants to do more business, but they've hit a plateau? Become their buyer's agent and just make it about them. Tell them, I want to get you to the next level. That's what I did. I partnered up with one of my agents I was in a business with, and I became his buyer's agent. So if you're a new agent and you're struggling, offer to be a buyer's agent. Another thing you can do that's totally free is do an open house. Ask agents around you, hey, do you have any listings you want open? I would love to hold an open house for you. So as a new agent, you don't have a lot of money, right? So what do you do? You need people. You need to work with people. Referral companies. Who here knew that 83% of agents do not follow up with their past clients? Anybody? <laughs> I mean, it kind of blows me away, but why would you not? So I'm going to go over, once again, Gene had this great idea in his uh, 101 Ways to Lead Generate. Have a housewarming party. You know what? I've done that, and it works beautifully. If you're sitting there and you're, Sean, I'm a new agent, I don't have money, I can't afford to do a housewarming party. Get in touch with the title company, the lender, the home warranty company that did that deal, and say, hey, let's throw John Smith a housewarming party. Once the dust settles, I want to throw him a housewarming party. I've done cookouts, I've done pizza parties, taco parties, chili parties. The main thing is, is do something, have fun. Here's the beautiful thing about that. 
They've already bought the house with you. Now guess what? They're introducing you to people that they're close to, their closest friends, their colleagues. I literally had one person, every person that came in the door, he'd run over, he'd grab them. You got to meet Sean. Sean. Sean's the guy that sold me this house. This is Sean. This is the guy that sold me the house. I mean, I was blown away. I didn't tell him to do that. <laughs> but how do you do it? You know, how does that housewarming party work? How do you set it up? You go on your Facebook business page. You can create an event, get the link, send the link to your client, have them invite their friends, their family, whoever they want at that housewarming party. Then go on there, and I encourage you to do a video and just say, hey, guys, I'm so excited for John Smith. He just moved into his house. We're going to throw him a housewarming party. If you come, could you please bring a side dish? I'm going to provide either meat, pizza, or whatever you decide to do, and then maybe a housewarming gift. Look forward to seeing you there. It's powerful, guys. It's relationships. You're building relationships. You can become people's realtor. You can make an impression on people. They don't know you're new, by the way. Nobody's going to say, are you brand new? Like, they're getting to know you, and they're seeing the house. The house will probably never look better than it does that day. When you're there, you can do some giveaways. Once again, be very purposeful. Go to your local mom and pop shops. Buy something. I'm so excited. I'm throwing a housewarming party for my clients. I can't wait to give this to them. What do you got? And then pick some really cool prizes. Who knows? Maybe they'll be willing to donate one as well. Always encourage buying nice pens. I go on pens.com. They make some really nice pens with a stylus. Um, it is super nice. Um, also, keychains. I bought some where it has the EXP logo, and it's got, it can pop open a bottle of beer or something. Pocket knives. What a beautiful thing to give away, guys. Put your information on it, your website, EXP logo, your name, your phone number. Why would you give away a pocket knife? Well, what do we do each and every day? We open mail, and you're probably opening some packages, right? <laughs> Anyone here get anything from Amazon or something like that? <laughs> every day, they could be using this Swiss Army pocket knife that you give them each and every day. It's just a nice reminder. I don't encourage the business card just because people look at it and they're like, oh, I'll use that later, I guess. And then they throw it away or it gets, it gets thrown in the wash. The business card is not of value. Give them something of value. Give them something like this where you can, it's a pen, a keychain, or a pocket knife. All right, so another way to follow up with past clients is house anniversary cards. Send them a card. Let them know you're excited for them. How's the house treating you? Hope everything is going well. So keep in touch. I'm talking one year, two year, three year, four year, five year. Keep in touch with your past clients. Let them know that you um, are excited for them. And at the bottom, you could always say, by the way, I, love I always love referrals. We also now do a cookout every summer, so we have two events. And you know what we do? We get in touch with them twice per event. We invite them with a card. We also create the event on Facebook, and I also use KB Core Video. And I, so they get three invites. But when the party, the Christmas party is over, because I have pictures taken professionally, you can see there's a few of them from our party, um, I send them a card when they don't come. And it says, we missed you at the party, and there's pictures of the party. The ones that came, I send them a picture. Let me show you real quick. So here's a few of the people that actually came to the party. So they received a card with their picture on it. Thank you so much for coming to the Christmas party. It was great to see you. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Keep in touch. Hope to see you at the next cookout. And then another idea is you could throw a movie night, right? You're in Texas. It's hot down here. Maybe not this morning, but, <laughs> but throw a pool party. You know, have fun. Find people to connect with, you know. And then also a doggy photo day. Who here has a dog? So if you have a dog, is that dog part of your family? Absolutely. So here's what you can do. All these businesses you've been meeting with, having coffee and lunch with, tell them, hey, let's do a doggy photo day. Get your photographer there, and let's have fun with this, and let's all invite our past clients that have pets. And so what you get to do at this party is you get to connect. You get to connect people. So like, for instance, when I'm at my Christmas party, I knew the one couple was getting married. I tried to connect them with my photographer because the more you help others, what are they going to want to do? Help you. So become a connector and have fun. Doggy photo days, if you do one, I haven't done one yet. I'm, I'm trying to get one scheduled this year. I'm thinking you do a doggy photo um, theme, right? So like, for instance, last year, a good theme could have been Top Gun. So every year, you can kind of have fun with that. So if you make this an annual event, people are going to talk about you. They're going to look forward to your events. But I want you to look at this eagle. This eagle represents each and every one of you in this room. Whether you're icon or not, this is each and every one of you. 
This eagle, everything about it, head to toe. When you look at it, it's built to fly, and it's built to soar, and so are you all. For me, you know, basically someone at some point has tried to keep you in a box. An eagle in a box, is it still an eagle? 100%. Would it ever get to do what its purpose, what it was built to do? No. So how sad would it be if it spent its whole life in a box? At some point in your life, someone tried to keep you in a box. For me, it was my first window cleaning job. My boss occasionally would throw in there, by the way, Sean, we overpay you for somebody without a college education. Stay in your box. When I get into real estate after two years of not making any money and I'm trying to get going and I'm talking to my broker about leaving the EXP, he said, this is going to ruin you, Sean. You really got to stop and think about what you're doing. Stay in your box. But then Ashley Nelson comes along and she has this conversation with me and it's like, literally like she opens the door to the box and she says, Sean, I don't know if anyone's ever told you this before, but you're an eagle, you're built to fly, and you're built to soar. And I'm so excited to see you take your career to new heights. And that's exactly what happened. And so what I challenge you is who can you help take their career to new heights? Because the beautiful thing about EXP is we then get to become Ashley Nelson. We get to find someone that doesn't know they're an eagle, and we get to let them out of their box and watch them hit icon and watch them take their family to new places they never imagined. I just wanted to share from the heart, make it all about people, make it about relationships, don't make it about selling homes. It's about people.